Hello, Archie Luxury here, fuckers. How are you today? And uh, I was talking to my good friend Descartes. Yes, I made an international phone call. And uh, I was talking to Descartes about some auction results uh, from New York. I think it was a Christie's auction. And uh, it's quite interesting. Quite interesting. He tells me a 2499. That's a perpetual calendar chronograph, just like John Lennon had. It's the model before the 3970. One of those sold for 725,000 fuckaroonies. Big money. Descartes told me two uh, annual calendar 5035 sold for just over the $20,000 mark. And uh, there was a nice 5110, which sold for the mid-20s. So it's, it's quite interesting to hear about the auction wraps. And uh, one thing I, Descartes did tell me is that any Patek under 35 mil is really, you know, they're going for low money. The worm has turned, fuckers. That's right. The worm has turned. And uh, it's a very interesting thing. So if you're a bit short, you know, you want to buy a Patek, but you don't want to spend, you know... Uh, look, fuckers, you know how it is there. You, you've got to... You've got to fucking... You know, if you want to keep it under five digits... Maybe a slightly smaller Patek might be your answer. And, uh, you know, one of the, the all-time bargain Pateks uh, at the moment is the, the 3919, which is a simple, simple manual wind, Calatrava, hobnail bezel, white dial, Roman numerals, very, very classic. I said this to Descartes and he said, oh, it's a, it's a grandfather's watch. You can't really dress it down terribly much but uh, I, I tend to say if you've paid 10 grand for a fucking Calatrava you can wear that fucker with anything you want but uh, there you go it's interesting the sizes is size that important and I, I wasn't really somebody who would uh, make aspersions about size but uh, it seems to me that um, Times are changing and, uh, you know, it's funny, you go back, I've got some old Patek Philippe catalogues, brochure, sales brochures from the late 80s, early 90s, and even late 90s, and, uh, you know, the, the, the standard size, 33 mil for a uh, 3919 is considered quite acceptable. There isn't really that push for the bigger sizes. And... Um, the size increase in Patek, when did it happen? Well, in year 2000, they released, they released the 37 mil 5110. That's the world time. So that was a, you know, that was a, it should be a goofy fa'a. It was a bigger size piece. And uh, the other thing that happened was that, you know, we, over time, the annual calendar, they came out, you know, late 90s, 96, 97 period, and they they were a 37 mil, 37 mil complication. And uh, in many ways, it's similar to the perpetual calendar, 3940, which is 36 mil. So, <sighs> it's hard to say this, but, you know, anything under 35 mil is being... The, the prices are low, like a 60s, a really nice 60s, 60s Patek Philippe, simple, you know, three hand type watch. They are um, seven, eight thousand dollar mark. I mean, that's that's some bargain buys, you know. So if you really, <clears throat> if you're on a limited budget but you want a mechanical Patek, that might be the best way to go. So. Uh, yeah, the size size is starting to be a factor here, and uh, I, I I didn't think it would happen, but um, that's that's how it goes, I suppose, isn't it? You know, it's sort of uh, size is important, and uh, the 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 thing is, you know, the, the makers, companies love the fact that 
size is important because they can redu release bigger models and it stops people buying on the secondary market because you want the bigger one you don't want the smaller one so it's it's interesting to see how it goes there and uh, I, I'm a little bit disappointed that uh, the 5110 has been replaced by the 5130 which is a 39 mil so there you know I don't know what in in, in seven years time maybe we'll, we'll see a, uh, a 42 mil world time I, I just don't know how this is going and I kind of think I kind of think it might be going a bit too far but um there you go that's that's the situation and and uh I, I don't know whether the size can come back a bit. I haven't seen any movements where, you know, I haven't seen any movement in pricing where people are going back to, say, 37 mil. It's sort of once the genie's out, it's getting bigger and bigger. So uh, I'd like to hear from the audience, see, see what they say. But uh, there you go. There's a few protect bargains to keep you guys, uh, you know, keep you guys busy. And uh, tell me, would you buy? Would you buy a dress watch under 35 mil? That's today's question. Would you buy a dress watch? That's a gold or precious metal watch on a leather strap, which is under 35 mil in size. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that.